Hello everyone, it's old Guardian here. If you log into Warcraft Rumble right now, you're going to be greeted by this pop-up. Coming in Season 4, New Troop, Witch Doctor. So, yeah, we just got the teaser last night, and the teaser looked like Witch Doctor to me, and it is indeed a Witch Doctor. And it's a new troop. Well, it being a new troop is a bit of a disappointment, because I was hoping that this would come alongside Fairy Dragon, but if they go with this troop leader, troop leader kind of cycle, then that might mean that Witch Doctor is actually replacing Fairy Dragon as the season 4 mini, and of course also this way they advertise it makes it look like that. So it's not going to be a new Horde leader, I was really hoping for a new Horde leader, because all the Horde leaders are so similar, would have been great to have a little bit of a different Horde leader like Senjin, but no, we're going to get a Witch Doctor. Well, Witch Doctor... It doesn't say here, but it's probably going to be a Horde Mini, which is good because Horde Minis also suck. So this might give some new life to Horde, even though all Horde leaders remain the same. So I'm mildly positive about Witch Doctor. I'm not getting Fairy Dragon. I don't mind not getting Fairy Dragon. Witch Doctor looks like it's going to do more for the game because Horde really is in need of something. And yeah, maybe this is it. And, but yeah, what else is coming in season four? A finger wiggle emote, a thumbs down emote, and bug fixes and optimizations. And is that it? Blizzard, are you kidding me? Is that it? It has been four months since the BlitzCon panel. Four months since we were told that they have in development a bunch of minis, and then they have Moonglade, a new zone. They have Scholomance, a new dungeon, and they have Molten Core, a, the first raid. All of that stuff in development. I'm fine with not getting Molten Core yet. I'm not raid ready. I'm not a big spender, so it takes time for me to get there. So, okay, I'm totally cool with that. I would have wanted to see at least Moonglade or Scholomance, because it's been four months. It's been four months since BlizzCon. Four months since they told that all of this stuff is in the pipeline and none of it is coming out if if this is like the season four preview there's there's nothing nothing more being said here in season three they also released this hype video about season three in which they said that hey raid raid building and raid testing is going well coming in 2024 yeah didn't come in season three that's for sure so yeah I still enjoy Rumble. I still have a bunch of stuff to do in Rumble because I'm not a big spender, so content lasts longer for me. And for someone like me, then it's kind of okay, although something new would have been appreciated. But yeah. For the game itself, it does look quite rough now. I already expect that February is going to be tough. In a couple of days we'll have the numbers. I will make a video when we have the numbers to see what the February numbers for Rumble look like. I expect them to be bad. And I was hoping that Season 4 will be where Rumble starts to, starts to rise. But if this is Season 4, then maybe Season 5 is when Rumble starts to rise. They have all this stuff in the pipeline. And if they can get the game working properly, and now it starts to work properly, they have spent a lot of effort in fixing those bugs. There were lots of game-breaking bugs in the game. And the game is now, well, bug fixes and optimizations. Still continuing, but they have done a lot of work on that. And if they can get some new content out there for Season 5, and then maybe do a bit of a relaunch for Rumble, is this coping? I'm not sure if this is coping. I do enjoy Rumble, so I, I like to cope a little. But yeah, maybe. But it looks like it's not going to be March. It's going to be April, when we have our hopes up again. I suppose. But Witch Doctor, I assume it's going to be a Horde troop. And Horde does need some good minis, so please, please be a good mini at least. That's coming next week. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.